We'd like to play two slip jigs now. Uh, the first one is a tune that I wrote as part of a suite that I was commissioned to write uh, with Johnny Oak Connolly, <clears throat> and it's called On Gubbadon, or The Sandpiper. And the second one is a tune I wrote a number of years ago for one of our Dardan CDs, and it's called All Five Ran. very fortunate because living in Dublin um, I was I was able to go to, to a lot of the sessions the, the clubs like there was the, the Claremont's Club and the Piper's Club and there was um, the Bridge Street Club and at those clubs like all the, the musicians from the country used to visit those and so I had so many influences from all over the country. I, I, I do remember that I, I used to uh, really love fiddle playing, fiddle players, and I'd often find myself travelling around the country now, and um, I'd go and visit um, older fiddle players that mightn't have been technically very good, like, you know, they mightn't have been great fiddlers in the ornamentation and things, but they had such uh, rhythm and gimp to their playing and that's really attracted me so much and to be honest anyone that has that little gimp or nya whatever to the rhythm like regardless of ornamentation that's what attracts me i mean i remember hearing tommy peoples for the first time in bridge one of the clubs in i think bridge street he came in and he had his fiddle in a brown paper bag and oh. he, he just whipped it out and played i that stunned me like you know i was just amazed by his playing but then other people played like sean keen i remember hearing sean keen fiddler playing at a a concert in the stadium the big stadium in dublin and i was stuck to the ground and another time 
stuck to the ground listening to Willie Clancy playing a flat set of pipes, uh, you know. So there were moments, so many people really affected me and it's, it's just, I, I just feel so fortunate to have had the opportunity to hear all of those people playing, you know, and meeting them. And then the other thing is the, um, the characters as well, they were very important to me. It, 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 you know, it, uh, it wasn't just the music, it was the personalities as well. That, to me, that was very important. I was taught by a fellow in uh, Claremont in London called Brendan Mark here. And he did a good, well, brilliant for the player, great box player, and he, he taught banjo and everything. It really, he, he had, you know, like being a good musician and being a good teacher are two separate gifts to me. And just because you're a brilliant musician doesn't mean you can teach. But Mary has both of those. Brendan also had both of those. He had a brilliant way with, with the kids and you'd be chomping at the bit for more tunes, you know. But we were lucky because me and my three sisters, I mean, Brendan travelled 50 miles from his home to teach us every Saturday and never took one penny off my mum and dad. Refused, point blank.
finish our set now with three reels. Uh, the first one is the Fermoy Lassies, second one is Sweeney's Dream and the third one um, Eddie Maloney's.